So welcome to Back Garden uh, Coaching, session number two. Uh, here we're going to look at some chipping. Really common error I see from uh, players that I coach is chipping, trying to scoop the ball in the air. So what I see, we get into, obviously we try and get into a, a, a good setup position for our chip shot. I personally like to see uh, the feet nice and close together. If you turn the club head sideways, you can just about get one in between the heels. We want that left foot slightly withdrawn from the target line. So feet slightly open, shoulders square, and 75% of the weight on our left side, ball position just back of center, gripping down the club. So this is the, there's, there's a variety of chipping techniques out of where This is a, a pretty, a pretty common, pretty neutral one. Um, gets us into a good position at setup and allows us to, to make some good moves in terms of how that club is moving, angle of attack through the, uh, through the ball. Um, but one of the biggest issues I see from a, a motion point of view when it comes to chipping is I see uh, a lot of players using their hands too much. So not a lot of body movement, but a lot of hands. And the biggest reason for that is as we take the club back, we usually turn a little bit of, uh, of shoulders and chest, but then there's a lot of scooping of the, uh, of the shot as the club comes through. And that's a big problem because what that does is it means that the leading edge of the club is coming away from the ground too early and we'll usually catch the ball halfway up or even at the top of it and we get those ones that scoot along, uh, skid along the ground and go flying over the other side of the green. So what we, uh, what we want to try and do is keep, we can see this Y shape made up of left arm, right arm and the shaft of the club and we want to try and keep that Y shape, keep the structure throughout the shot. So as I take this club back I really feel like I'm moving my chest and club head together and then it's a feeling of back through in the same motion. So there's a little bit of body rotation, but it's really the, the chest and shoulders that initiate the movement. What you'll notice is there is a bit of movement of those wrists, but that's coming because we're gripping it so loosely. If you think about a scale of uh, a grip pressure scale of one to 10, we wanna have one being the club's gonna fly out, of the, uh, fly out of the hands, 10 being shaft crushing. We wanna be for chipping about a two or a three on that scale. So I really am just feeling the weight of that club head, letting the shoulders rock. So what that allows to happen, as you can see, there is a little bit of wrist movement going on as the club swings back and through, but that's because we're gripping it so loosely. So what I want to see from, uh, from my players that I coach is I want to see the, the club rocking backwards and forwards, so sternum and club head are moving together. What we can do, little drill, is if you get a second wedge, lay it along the shaft of the first wedge and then take your grip as best you can. Um, we can normally get a pretty good, so the top of the grip is, is in your belly button and I want you to try and feel like as you move your chest, the club goes with it. So you can see there's a bit of body rotation, but I'm moving my shoulders, keeping my weight 75% on that left side and I'm getting a nice smooth pendulum motion going on here. Weight starts on the left, stays on the left or favoring left and finishes on that left side. So I can't actually hinge my wrists here without this club coming away from my belly button. And you can play shots doing this as well. It's a really good drill. Have a go.